what's important for you and I. It says this, and I quote, members of the public may observe the hearing by video conference by selecting the register to attend link on the tribunal's hearing schedule. Guys, I got... Mm-hmm. So, where's that link? Ah! Oh, <laughs> you know, I'm just going to go to screw their head up. Oh, and because I've done so much research on them that I have so much evidence on them that I'm sure Canada would be interested in. All right. To observe, click the register link. And to listen to a teleconference hearing. There it is. Hmm. What y'all think? Ooh. Video conference? Uh, just as a FYI, Binance, the uh, CEO Binance, he's in prison. Ah, uh, he can't tell me God don't work miracles no more. Because he does. Ooh. Lady. Look. I hope y'all saw the link that I clicked on. That was on Mike Favors' channel. Lady Look. Lady Look Club. LSC. It, yeah. Boom. Yep. I'm registered. What did he say? Okay, so y'all click this link, this Capital Markets Tribunal dot CA forward slash EN forward slash hearing dash schedule. That's what I click. That's what comes up. And then you get three options to select. If you want to be in person, if you want to hear by video, uh, see by video conference and hear by teleconference. I'm not interested in none of the other stuff down there. Guys, I got the link. If you're looking at this video, check the link. First times that I've received notification that we can actually be a part of that hearing and log into the video cast the video conference. That way you can actually hear what's going on. Okay. You can hear I, see it. Myself, I plan on being there. I don't know what you're doing about your schedule or whatnot, but I'm going to go. I, myself, I plan on watching it because I've done so much research on these scandalous Stephen ass pettions. Look, girl, your day of reckoning has come. <laughs> it has come. And all of these people here, don't, listen, I told you all, they're not going to show up for a hearing. I don't just do something just for one reason. And no, no, there's multiple reasons why I just registered. You have to understand, if this is my only way of passing on my research and evidence that I've come across directly to Canada, I'm going to do it. And then when the SEC stops playing... And they decide to set up hearings, hopefully charge these petty eyes with uh, money laundering, wire, fraud, bank fraud, check fraud. Um, yeah. Uh, fraud. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. We have the, of course, the, the, crypto scams and all of that. 
the, the Ponzi schemes and uh, they, uh, there's a laundry list, but I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to throw out all the good felonies that could really stick in a criminal court because the SEC handles matters on a civil level. So it will be a civil proceeding unless they have criminal charges brought forth by the prosecutor, by a prosecutor or a district attorney. And then they will appear in a criminal court of law and go to prison. That's when they get, you know, they, either way they're going to get a full trial. But with the record they have of not showing up for hearings, something I've addressed in several of my videos, because they don't show up, because criminals don't go to court, why would they? Think about it. They don't have y'all's money. They spent it. So if they don't have your money, they can't tell the court how they're going to give you any money back. They're con artists. Why would they go to court? You need to have another game plan if you're t planning on attending to reach someone to say, you have a lot of people here who need to provide evidence and information, you know, to show how these people have stolen your money. Take that opportunity to talk to Canada and the tribunal there, especially if you were resident in Canada, to say, here's the evidence that they stole money from me. Okay, can you influence the U.S. to hurry the hell up? The SEC, you know, the FTC, can, you, can we get these people to hurry up? Can we get them to collaborate with the FBI to go find them? Because, you know, we found a man in the ground. <laughs> out the dirt it's not like we don't have the equipment to do it we can it's all about is it worth it are they going to spend the money to use all that fancy equipment but no we have technology we can buy people in the ground i mean like six feet underground so they, they're not i don't think they're out of reach to where they can't be found they just might be hiding in plain sight and people aren't really thinking like that because you gotta you gotta think about these criminals have Three, two or three minor children. They're not going to go too far out the way. You know, they have parents. Them petty aunts, that little girl, she got a, 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 you know, a dad at least. Um, parents or whatnot that are older. So they, she know they can't really travel like that. So you got to you gotta think still logical. They think you're criminal, but they, they still got to think logical. Can they maneuver their parents all over the place? And their children. The children got to go to school. Or they're going to go to jail for that. Keeping the kids out of school. So there are a lot of things that they have to think about. To avoid going to prison for other things. Because they're trying to run from you all. Because they stole all your money. And they don't want to go to court. So we we, we got to listen. Make, make this the best effort you can. Going to this hearing. Be ready to try to ask questions, to hand off information. Who do we need to talk to if we're U.S. citizens or if we're uh, uh, in Mexico or if we're in Africa? If we're, you know, one of those other countries that they, they swindled out like hell. Who do we need to talk to? You know, can you get, can you do a news something and, and put it on the news and say, there are people who have been affected all over this world that's been hurt by Novatech. And it's high time for people to start talking about it and reporting it. You know, just like the CEO of Binance is in prison. He's in prison. He's in prison. FTX? Yeah. Prison. These people are going to prison. So don't think it can't happen with them. We have to make sure that it does by pushing that, pushing them to the forefront. You know, you don't have to make a threat on them. But don't be studying all these stupid comments on here. People talking about, I hope they come back and thrive. I hope they go to prison and stay there forever. And it'll be unfortunate. But they committed the crime. And they're hurting their own families, their own children, their own parents. Because any other criminal would not be this difficult to find. And no one should be protecting a criminal. Period. Only criminals want other criminals to thrive. So you're going to go to these meetings, you're going to go to this hearing, you're going to register for it because you want action. You want something to happen. Whether they show up or not, I already told you all they're not going to show up. I keep telling y'all that. 
There's precedence for that. They didn't show up for any hearing that they had for Canada previously. And it was two of those. Not for this time around. No, no, no. Going back to last year for Canada. They didn't show up for the hearing in California. They didn't show up for anything in Wisconsin. They're not showing up for hearings. They didn't show up for their bankruptcy hearings. They didn't show up for any of their other civil lawsuit hearings. They didn't show up because they don't care. Criminals don't go to court. It's like a trap for them. They think they're going to just immediately be hauled out to jail for civil proceedings because they're not that smart. But guess what? You all keep showing up and you keep bringing your evidence and demanding you get your money back. And guess what? They're not going to be able to ignore you. And then make sure this stuff goes viral. Put out videos that go viral. Say, we went to this here and Novatech needs to be held accountable. All them folks sitting in the comment sections talking about, oh, we hope they come back and blah, blah, blah. Tell them, either you idiot going to pay my mortgage or you're going to shut up so I can get my money back or some sort of retribution. I don't care if it's just to see them go off to prison. They stole all my money and I want to see something happen. And I need you to get the hell on somewhere talking about they're going to come back and come strong. They come back, they're going to get locked up. I don't care if 80 people got to do a citizen's arrest. It need to happen. Anyway, I will be there. And I still have all my evidence. I filed a complaint with the SEC. And I hope you guys have done that as well. I will be finishing out my complaint with the FBI before this hearing is scheduled. I hope you guys do that as well. The FBI can work with the SEC to bring them to a criminal court of law and charge them with the felonies for the wire fraud and for the check fraud, money laundering, those types of charges that can be easily proven because they would have to collaborate with banks and get all those accounts and all of those, you know, uh, e-currency e-wallets, all that stuff. They have to get all that. And that's the, the hard thing about these white collar crimes is that it's that's so administrative and cumbersome. It takes time to get all of that evidence and information together. And you guys have seen my videos. It, it took time to put some of those videos together, but I did it because I wanted to make sure I put all the information out there, you know, as much as possible. So you all could have that for your complaints and if they start seeing all this evidence, it's going to be hard to ignore. So keep using it. But I will be there. Oh, yes. Because I've been investigating Novatech, and I told you all they're going down. And they're going to go down. Ain't nobody playing with them. You don't steal people's money and then think you're going to run. All right. Check it out because, hey, the team that I was over, it's a very large team, and they deserve to know what's going on, okay? And so even well, though we pivoted, stolen. we've done some other things, guys, please don't think that I don't still have my ears to the ground and try to see if we can get some of this back or what a lot of us have lost, okay? And so I'll just share this, you all, once again. At the bottom of the email, it's coming from the Registrar Governance and Tribunal Secretariat, Ontario Securities Commission, all right? They put the statement out. I'm going to make sure the link is down below. I already hit the link. Everything works fine. I went to it. Mm -hmm. And when you go to it, yeah, you have to scroll it. down. And at the end of it, you matter of fact, let me just click it right here in front of you all. Open this link. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's going to happen is uh, Capital Markets Tribunal website is going to come up and it has a hearing schedule of everything that's going on. What you do is scroll down the page, keep scrolling, and then you're going to see calendars, right? You're going to see uh, uh, you something show about McHall uh, assets. You're going to see Xia Hua, something going on with Troy Richardson, all of that. Okay, uh, so it's Bridging Finance. But then on it, December 7th, you keep scrolling. You're going to see a, a Novatech LTD Cynthia Petion, right? It's going to say by video conference, enforcement proceeding, preliminary attendance, right? And then right up under that, there's a link that you can hit yeah. that says <laughs> register. Yeah, I heard that enforcement proceeding. So when you have a civil proceeding, right? And because they failed to show, typically those court orders uh, become enforceable action. Enforceable action meaning 
Now they're going to enforce something. They're enforcing them to show up or they're going to just hold them in contempt of court. Um, they failed to, you know, deliver any discovery. They probably had an order to uh, compel discovery. They didn't do that. Once you get an order of any sort, any court order can become an enforceable action. So now what they see that as, as a contempt. And when you're in contempt of court, that can um, cause you to either get fined and or include incarceration. incarceration. So they can be fined or found and then locked the hell up. So hopefully this enforcement action, because it sounds like Canada is not for play play, is going to render a warrant for their arrest. And we bless God for it. But it's an enforceable action, so something's going to happen with this. This is not, this is not, if, if they don't show up, even if they show up and they don't have what they've been ordered to bring or do, they're still going to be held to contempt. But they're not going to show up, so they're still going to be held to contempt. And it's just going to be a warrant out for their arrest. And we're ready for it. Yep. To attend. I just clicked it, you all. The link is up and running. And what's going to happen is, you know, it, you all are clicking, but you'll get a pay. Well, you can't really see that. There's no sense of even trying to do that. Psh, brain freeze. Anyway, what's going to happen is you will come to a page Ooh, that says Novatech LTDRE Attendance. They're going to ask for your first name, your last name, and your email. And then by clicking this button, you submit your information to the webinar organizer who will use it to communicate with you regarding this event and their other services. So the 27th, November 27th, at 9 a.m. has been rescheduled to December 7th, 2023 at yes, 10 a.m. Yes, enforcement. I plan to be there, you all. We can have... It's not, it, it's, it's not necessarily being rescheduled. It's just an enforcement action. And because they know the history of these dumb pettions not going to show up for court hearings, they're not going to waste time with it. And I told you all that. I said they weren't going to show up. They did not show up on November 27th. Um, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that. You just need to read all the other previous <laughs> lawsuits they've had where they've had to go to court and they didn't show up because criminals don't go to court. So this isn't necessarily a reschedule of anything. They're just scheduling a, another status conference, basically. And they're basically saying, okay, this is going to be an enforceable action. We're not going to waste time with it like they did last time. You know, they, they gave them two chances. They extended. I think the most that came out of it was an extension of the cease and desist order. But I always told you all, those orders can become enforceable actions. And now they're finally reverting to enforceable actions. They still have to have hearings on it. Ugh. But with them not showing up, more than likely, um... They, the order is going to be that whatever the ruling is, I'm sure it's going to be some form of contempt. And um, now let's go ahead and let, let, let's let's get a warrant out for their arrest and get a judge. Now that's when they have to go over to the court and uh, or they have a judicial officer, you know, that's officiating the case. They can sign an order and they can have an order for a bench warrant order signed and issued for their arrest. So that bench warrant order can be signed by a judicial officer of the court or an officer of the court, period. All right. I'm excited about it. I hope you guys register to show up. And like I said, don't go that disappointed if you don't see them. I already told y'all they weren't going to go there. Stop being hard-headed. Come there with your evidence and say, we need to find a way to present this stuff. How do we show you all all the evidence that we have to show that these criminals need to be in prison for the rest of their lives? And tell us at least a heading point on where they might be at. I'm telling you all, I, I've said this before, I, I don't think they're far out the country like that because they don't want to be away from their elderly parents and they have two young children. I don't think they're, they are where most people think they are. Um... And that's just kind of what my gut feeling tells me. And then just knowing people like this, when you have these type of connections where you have elderly parents that really can't travel like that out the country, you don't know how long you're going to be gone next time you're going to see them, anything like that. Most times they hide a plain sight. Um, they got 
minor children that are in school <laughs> in plain sight. All right. So don't, don't get your hopes up thinking that they, they gonna flee the country. I highly doubt it. Um, uh, you know, it's just a matter of pinpointing where they are. We have the technology to really tag phones and laptops and all this other stuff. They can get information on videos and, you know, put some trackers out there, get close to the people they, they close to, uh, last people that they've talked to go that route. They're going to have to start twisting some arms. Some of these, uh, these, uh, scouters and people who were, uh, running around here talking about, oh, I'm, you know, advocating and I'm all this. Oh, okay. We well, we need you to answer some questions. You know, you, you onboard a whole lot of people, you brought a lot of people into this stupid ass Ponzi scheme. Okay. And you still hope that it survives. Oh, well, we need you to come in and we need you to talk to us. Cause saying that stupidity at this point is just dumb. You just setting yourself up and it makes no sense. Please stop hoping that a criminal succeeds. It's dumb now. And it might not play in your favor at all. Nowhere, nowhere near that. This is not even about a false hope. It's just stupidity on steroids. Stop it. So yeah, you should be tagged. If you if somebody is, is hearing you say something or reading comments where you're talking about, oh, I really hope and pray they survive and come out well and do well. They need to track your ass down and come and talk to you. And twist your arm so you can tell them where the hell you think these petty arms might be at. Because ain't nobody got time for none of this. You're not paying nobody's mortgage. People want their money back. This is not a joke. This is not for play play. Stop messing around on this internet if you don't want some grown folk consequences to come your way. While you acting like somebody's petulant child. This is not a joke. Some people signed up. Family members, loved ones. I think this guy had a whole church. I mean, it's... There are a lot of people out there that really thought it was a legitimate thing and then got bamboozled. Now, what irritated me is when many of you all took too damn long to realize that it was a positive scheme. Albert Einstein said it is easy. It was Albert Einstein. He yeah, said it was easier to just fool people than to tell them that they're being scammed. We can't be that simple. God wants us to be smarter than this. We can't be that simple minded and stupid. We got to be smarter. It, it doesn't even take a whole lot of book knowledge to see someone is scamming you. Anything that's just, it, if, it, uh, if it's just too good to be true, it's not true. Because that's not reality. Reality should not be warped in order for you to be financially blessed and stable. You should not have to warp reality. Come on now. Even Jesus, when he walked this earth, he was a carpenter. He understood. Anyway, so y'all scheduled for that. I showed you all how to do it. I went through it. Uh, then he don't want to got a link on here. I don't know what, what Kirk, what's his name? Kirk, somebody. He brought it up too, said he was going to be there, but he didn't have no links on his video. Kirk, you can put some video uh, links up on your video. All right. You guys, make sure you all be there. I will. Because I'm going to mess with them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to mess with them if they show up. Oh, man. But I'm also going to present all of my evidence. Yep, all my videos, all my documentations, I'm just going to hand it on over. And uh, I hope that helps everybody. All right, deuces.